So I just thought I'd film, you know, a really chatty, get ready with me sort of video because do you know what, it's just like the past few weeks I've just been so busy. Um, we've had a lot going on with our house and stuff and my cat had kittens so we've been looking after the kittens like, all the time so I haven't actually had time to sit down, film a video, edit it and upload it. So I've obviously been posting on Instagram and stuff as well, if you like the link to my Instagram it's in the description box down below. Um, but just like actual long YouTube videos, any other YouTuber will know it does take time and effort. So. You know, I didn't want to upload one that I weren't too happy with, so I thought, right, I'm just going to wait, have a couple of weeks break and get back to it when I've got the time. So, yeah, so today we're going to go ahead. I don't really know what look I'm doing, but we're going to go ahead and wing it, have a little chat. I've got some sweets. So, yeah, let's get started. So, I've already prepped my face today, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the P. Louise base in the shade number two. And I'm going to be putting this on my eyelids with the Molly O'Brien Gym Bob brush. I need to get the Molly O'Brien full collection of brushes because they're so good. I just need to actually, just actually buy them and get it done. So just packing that all over your brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that all along my eyelid. So, I mean, I'm going to have to turn that off. So, I mean, what's everyone been up to anyway? Um, I mean, I know, obviously, lockdown is kind of, the restrictions have gone a bit more strict and I just can't be arsed. I just want life to go back to normal. But hey-ho, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And just make the most of times when you actually can go and see your family. I haven't seen my family since July. So it's a bit crap, but I'm just hoping that by Christmas, like I can actually go and see my family and friends. But yeah, so it's been quite stressful. We've sold our house and so I'm thinking of doing like a little vlog of when we do eventually find a house because in that next house, I'm gonna have my own makeup studio. So I'm gonna do a little vlog and kind of like a before and after, just so you can see the work and stuff that's all been put into it. So, finish my eyes. Going in with the BH Cosmetics Number no. 6 brush. And this is literally just going to be removing the excess product on the eyelid and blending out any edges. You know what? I'm going to go quite colourful. I'm going to go for, just going to go in and pick out some colours that are really screaming to me. So I'm going in with the Me, Myself and Mama Mitchell palette and I'm going in with the Peaches and Cream PC22 brush and on the brush I've gone in with the shade Motto and I'm just going to go ahead and pack that in my crease. like so and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. Now I'm using the Peaches and Cream PC21 brush and I'm just going in with the shade Morgan and I'm just going to go ahead and just blend out those edges. So now I've completed eyeshadow on both eyes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Simple Micellar Water. I'm going to go in with some earbuds and just get ready to prepare my crease. So now I've prepared the shape for my cut crease. So I'm going in again with the P. Louise base in the shade number 2 again. I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. I like this brush because it's really straight and you can manage the concealer well on your own. I feel like you do get a good cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that on the middle of my eye. And then this is when you're going to have to be really careful and just take your time to get that sharp cut. So 
So now I've obviously put the concealer on. I'm going to go in with a shade that I want to put over the top. So I am said I was doing it colourful, so I might as well carry on. I'm really loving the shade Melted on the Me, Myself and Mama Mitchell palette. It's a shimmery yellow. It's literally so gorgeous. So I'm going to put that on and just see how it looks. Just keep packing that on and on. Your cut crease like so so I'm, I'm loving that color combo actually so now i'm gonna go in with some lashes i'm using the unicorn cosmetics lemon meringue lashes if you don't know about these on my previous video i think i've done a well i did a shopping haul and i'm sure i mentioned these in there so go check it out i'll pop the link um, above here i'm gonna go in with some l'oreal hydrogenous primer go ahead and spread that all along my face I love the smell of this primer, it's literally amazing. Like seriously, don't even chat to me if you think these lashes don't look amazing, because they actually do. Look at the fluff on those. And look at my skin now, it's so bad. Because obviously I've been having to wear masks like all the time when I'm doing clients. The breakouts are real. It's really getting me down. Sad time. This is my new favourite contour stick. It's the So Su Suzanne Jackson contour stick in the shade Warm. Let's contour this face. So the brush I'm using to dab this in is the BH Cosmetics Number Two brush. I just kind of drag it down on it. Trust the process. The NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Barcelona. So it's quite dark actually, so I'm going to mix it in with a lighter shade. Normally, what use this if I'm going out, you know, and I'm quite tanned, but I ain't got fake tan at the minute. So I'm just going to spread that along my face with the BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. This is going to give me the best full coverage. It's going to cover all these ugly little spots and then hopefully I'll look pretty again. So dabbing this in with the BH Cosmetics number 2 brush again. I love this brush, it feels so soft on your skin, like it's actually kind of like a little massage. We want to get really good coverage and we want this base to sit and set really nicely because then it will make everything else sit and look beautiful once it's done. Because if you don't get your base right, nothing else is going to sit nicely, either like your bronzer and stuff like that. So just take your time with your base. I mean, I know a lot of people just think it's mainly eyes to focus on, but it's really not. Your base is important. Like, you're still technique when it comes to base, you know. People are like, oh, I can't do my eyes, I can do my face. But there is still things that you might be actually doing wrong on your face that you didn't realise. I still learn things all the time. And different techniques work for different types of skin, different types of people. So it just kind of depends on your skin and, you know, what works for you. So it's just a case of keep trying new things and, I mean, you're always learning. So now I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. So I do just put that right along the underneath my eyes, along the bridge of my nose, chin and my forehead. Now I'm going in with a beauty base sponge. It's a little bit, you know, it's on the rougher end of life, but it still does the job. So I'm just going in and using dabbing motions just So now I'm going to go in with some Laura Mercer translucent powder and I'm just going to go ahead and place that underneath my eyes just to really set that concealer and just to brighten up my eye I'm going to go in with the P. Louise Acid Rain. 
This is in the shade Ibiza. This is gonna go on my waterline. So I've popped some mascara on my bottom lashes as well, just to really finish off my eye makeup. So now I need to do my brows, finish off my face and then my lips. So I'm going in with my absolute favorite. It's the Brow Club Big and Bushy in the shade Medium. So it comes with a brush and I just literally go in with a BH Cosmetics number 11 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready to carve out my brow. So I only literally carve out the bottom of it just to really get that shape. And then I'll just go in and do a hair stroke lines. And then I'll go in with the brush, removing any product on the brush because I don't want to make them really dark. Go in and just really give them a little brush to make them fluffy, like so. Then I repeat the same on the other brow. So time for my face. I'm going in with the Doll Beauty Gimme Sun Bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's proper nice, really nice shade and it just looks gorgeous on the skin. So the brush I'm using to place this on my face is the BH Cosmetics number one brush. It's a big bronzer brush and I'm just going to dab that bronzer just right on my cheekbones. So now I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics. This is the Hush Tone Extra Dimension. It's like a blusher with a shimmer. I really do love it. And I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics number no. three brush. And I'm really just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks. So obviously can't forget the highlighter. Now I'm going in with my go-to Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Highlighter. So this is a liquid form, so what I normally do is just put a little bit on my hand. Then I'll go in, sort my hair out. Then I'll go in with a fluffy brush and just place it all on my brush. And just go to the places where I want the highlight and just dab accordingly. On the tip of my nose. And then I do just go in with another brush and just dab that out. Like so, look at that glow though, honestly. This product is gorgeous. Last but not least, it's the Lips Morphe Lip Liner. This is in the shade Love Bite. And just literally putting that Then I'm going in with a Doll Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Get Lippy. This shade is so beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with the Carl Lagerfield lip gloss. This is in the shade Camera Flash. And it's just a shimmery, clear colour but I do love it just to put over the top of a nude that I love. So there we have it, just pop some setting spray on and I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus in the rose. So, so guys, this is the finished look. I'm literally feeling this makeup so much, like the colours, the yellow, the purple and just the whole actual, you know, makeup, eyes, lips, everything absolutely feeling it myself but any products that i did use in this video will be in the description box down below along with all of my social media platforms such as instagram and facebook so feel free to give me a little follow on those but before you go don't forget to subscribe put a big thumbs up and leave a cheeky little comment in the comment section thank you